Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on solving inequalities. There's going to be a few videos on this topic and in this first video we'll start by looking at listing values. So this is one of the core skills in inequalities and in this example uh, we've got x is an integer such that x is greater than or equal to minus 1 and less than 4. List all the numbers that satisfy this inequality. So we've got x, uh, it's between minus 1 and 4 and we've got an inclusive inequality uh, on the left here and a strict inequality on the right. So this means that we can include the value of minus 1 but we can't include the value of 4. Uh, so therefore the values that satisfy this inequality are minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3. So as I say we can include the value of minus 1 because this is an inclusive inequality uh, but we can't include the value of 4 because this is a strict inequality. So if we move on now to have a look at a more complicated example, so here we have to solve the inequality 5a minus 4 is greater than 2a plus 8. Now when we solve an inequality essentially what we're doing is just rearranging this and treating it as an equation and we want to make uh, the variable or the unknown the subject of the inequality. So we're going to try and get a on its own here and what we're going to do is first of all add 4 to both sides to remove this minus 4 from the left hand side. So we're going to get 5a is greater than 2a plus 12 and now we're going to subtract 2a uh, from both sides to just have uh, the a's all on one side. So we're going to get 3a here is greater than 12 so we've removed the 2a now from the right hand side and now we just need to divide both sides by 3 to get a on its own. So a is going to be greater than 4 and this is all we have to do to solve the inequality. So this is a more basic example. In the next video we'll look at some more complicated examples where we've got two inequalities uh, in our expression. Like most things in algebra, the best way to get good at this topic is just by practicing, so you can do so with our online exam. This is available through our revision platform, and if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, and all of them you'll receive instant feedback on. It's a good way of keeping track of your progress, finding out where you're going wrong, and it's a good way to improve in time for your actual exam. So if you're interested, you can click the link below and it'll take you straight over there.